hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are doing a minimalism series video i got this idea from a youtuber i'll link her channel down below but basically she went in her closet and she picked her oldest items and styled them so i'm gonna recreate this video in my own way the first item is gonna be this top um i've had this top for at least three years now it was when this kind of design was super trendy but i bought it because i know i love tops like this i love very interesting off the shoulder you guys see how i dress i have a lot of tops that show off my collarbones and my shoulders and stuff like that so i was like even though this is trending i know i'm gonna love this top for like years to come and i kept it in my closet um i can't remember where i bought this from i'll link something similar down below if you guys are interested in this top though and then we have these pants so the thing about these pants these are culottes i bought these forever ago back when forever 21 had great quality that's like at least five years that i've had these culottes but you know as time change changes our bodies change they don't fit the best anymore you guys can't really see but some of the seams are kind of getting older and stretching so i don't get to wear them as much as i used to but i still definitely love 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 these culottes and i'll probably keep them for at least the next like two to three years Next we have, actually I think all three of these items I've had for at least two years. So this top I bought a while ago and I was super into turtlenecks and it is a sleeveless top. This is perfect for when I layer in the fall and the winter time. I love to wear items like this. And then this skirt also had for a really long time. I've mentioned this before in a couple videos. Definitely skirts with splits are staples for me. So I will continue to wear this skirt. I absolutely love this skirt. And it's so perfect because it's white. And usually white is like a see-through-ish color. And I don't really have that problem when I wear this skirt. Which is a big plus for me. And then we have the blazer. Mm, this blazer I've had for had this blazer for over five years i drifted this a very 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 long time ago the thrift store isn't even open anymore but i will always continue to wear that blazer love it and then the next thing i'm going to mention is this bag so i think i've had this bag for at least two to three years more on the two year side this is a dupe for the bottega bag i saw the bottega bag and i said wow that looks beautiful but i just didn't want to i didn't want to fork up the cash so i was following this youtuber and she mentioned this dupe and i'm absolutely obsessed with it you guys will see i wear this bag so much i love it so now i know like if i do later want to invest in a bottega bag i know that i'll probably wear it to death <laughs> next outfit the items are that bag again of course because it looks great with everything in my opinion you either love it or hate it but this top i've had this top for at least four years um very very old this was back when i was into wrap tops i loved the tops that went around and then tied at the side i still have this one because it's perfect for kind of like those chilly spring days where you don't really want to put too many layers on but it's still not warm enough to just kind of be outside with sleeveless so this is still a great staple for me wash as well wear as well all around great top and i recently tried to restyle it or kind of update it for myself and i've been wearing it off of the shoulder next we have another vintage blazer this was actually um, given to me by my mother. My mom used to be a fashion girl back in the day. So it's kind of like you either love it or hate it once again. I don't know why, but there's just something about this blazer that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I am not an embroidery kind of girl, but I don't know. This, this blazer just has my heart for some reason. We have two items first item is the black dress the second item is the black bag this dress i bought from local european i believe it was two years ago back when we were really hopping on that um <laughs> back when like we were really shopping from black owned businesses and poc businesses i found this brand on instagram 
I don't wear this brand, this dress much because it's just such a, well, I consider it such a party dress. Like it's so tight. It's kind of a sexy dress. So I find it hard to style it, but I do really love this dress. I think it looks great on most body types, especially for girls with smaller chests. And then this bag I've had, oh my gosh, I've had this bag for over four or five years. Four or five years. I got this as a gift from a brand named Melly Bianco. They sent me this bag quite a while back and I still love it to this day. I wear it when I go to interviews, meetings, anything businessy. I'll probably use this bag because it holds like folders and like binders very, very well. This next outfit, the item I'm restyling is the black pants. So the thing about these pants is I've had them in a smaller size, but like I said, our bodies changed. I gained a little weight and I could no longer fit my favorite pair of black jeans. So I had to repurchase the same pants, but I went a size up. So yeah, I still love these pants. They're the perfect fit for me. So those are all of my old items that I'm restyling. If you guys like this video, let me know down below and don't forget to have a great day.